Namaste my fellow strikers, Holy Materia here, back with another Shinobi Striker video. Today we're going to be talking about some non-DLC flag builds for beginners, so let's get right into it. Okay, so today we're going to be doing two builds for each class, so one for running the flag and one for defending the flag. So let's start with attack types because they're probably the best uh, class in flag battles. So for attack types, if you're going to be running the flag um, with a non-DLC build, a, a good jutsu to start with is teleportation jutsu. So this is just like the, the jutsu that attack types come with. And then another one is, um, and then the other jutsu you can run is lightning blade. Attack types have a, a, a lot of options though, so um, you can mix you can mix and match these. Uh, Sharding gun is also a good one to run. You can run lariat because it has super armor. It doesn't go as far as lightning blade, but it has super armor uh, the whole time. Um, so, so yeah, attack types have some some decent builds for flag battles even without the DLC. Like some of these are some of the best builds you can run anyway, um, and they're and they're easily the best flag runners. For the ult, you can run the lightning style chakra mode because it makes it harder for you to flinch, so you won't get knocked down and the flag won't get knocked out of you by most by most moves. Um, th that's something that I run on my normal flag build, uh, even even if I do have the DLC on. And also the lariat, I also run that on my normal. Uh, attack flag build and I also always just use the shadow clone jutsu for my substitution it's just I think it's just the best substitution in the game um, for especially for escaping people because it comes back faster and it will make people stay locked onto the clone so uh, yeah so that's the one I run with flag battles and then for the weapon you want to run the claws because of the uh, triangle button so um, any claws will work but I suggest uh, these ones the, the scientific ninja tool ones uh, because because the triangle button is so OP when it comes to like the distance it travels and using it on flag so you so you push triangle in the air and then you can just push like square to do another combo so that you don't have that like um, animation where you go backwards after the triangle uh, so you can keep the momentum going and then as far as the ninja tool uh, the ninja tool is, is is up to you for for this yeah, yeah, the ninja tool is up to you. For I, you could just run regular kunai and maybe uh, help keep people off of you, or you can run like the new radiant god medicine just to get your health back. Yeah, so it, it, the ninja tool is kind of up to you when you're running the flag. And then for the close, for the top, uh, you can run the you can run first blood, so it boosts your secret technique gauge. Uh, that dude's is kind of always a good one to go with. Um, in, in most situations it's not a it's not a bad choice uh, so yeah I usually use that and then in a flash for the bottoms and this one boosts your movement speed and uh, anytime you're running the flag this is a good this is a good um, bottom to have you can also run the bottom clear mind that gives you your ninjutsu back faster so you can use your moves to get around the, the map faster and also don't forget that like with moves like lightning blade and teleportation if you use them while you're on a wall by the edge you can use it vertically so you'll go way farther than you would normally go with those moves uh, in the air so in, in having the high ground is a big advantage so this goes for for all of the the classes not just attack type so any move like chakra scalpel or chidori or anything like that you can use it vertically to go to get yourself some some altitude so you can have the advantage in the in the flag battle and then for the for the accessory um, I just run battle harden uh, the one that gives you life back when you get kills so Generally speaking, if you're if you're an attack type, you want to be running the flag and flag matches. But if for whatever reason you you're going to defend the flag as an attack type, uh, you can you could uh, this is a decent build. So you can use the summoning snake uh, to put that on the on the flag. And since people are going to be standing still on your flag, uh, you can also just drop it on them, and then it resets their their ninjutsu. And then you can also use universal pull. So. Um, this will pull people back to you who are running the flag. It has uh, incredible range. Like as long as you can lock onto somebody, the pull animation will happen, and it also will knock people out of any kind of combos. So, um, so that there's a good there's a, a benefit to that. Even though people aren't running combo as much, uh, especially like combo bond as much as they used to since it got nerfed, uh, but you you still want to have something to counter that. And this is one of the only non DLC moves that can counter combo uh, combo bond or come like climax if somebody's if a defense type is running the flag and then for the ultimate you can use something like massive rasengan but also, you can also use uh, other things it's uh, it's kind of up to you but massive rasengan is nice because it comes back fast and it hits a wide area and there's going to be a lot of people grouped up uh, on the on your flag so um so yeah it's kind of easy to hit 
and and also uh, you could use something like planetary devastation but a lot of times flag matches don't even go long enough to get a jutsu like that uh, or a secret technique like that so you might as well just use one that comes back faster and then for the clothes if you're defending you could kind of just run, it's up to you but you can kind of run the same stuff um, it's always good to be able to move fast or you or you could also run clear mind and then battle harden is always good and first blood is good so you can have your ultimate more quickly so if you are defending you want to have your weapon can be whatever weapon you feel the most comfortable fighting with as an attack type so like whatever one you like the combos on uh, i i prefer the knuckle knives but you can use any one that that uh, you like it, the claws or anything else uh, but for the ninja tool you want to use the scientific ninja tool the fire release bullet because that can break water pillar and sand shield and oftentimes you'll see like especially with water pillar you'll see you'll see healers come to either run the flag themselves using water pillar and some other jutsu or, or put the water pillar on the flag so that their teammates can can cap it so yeah you can use uh, the the fire bullet to to break their water pillar or sand shield now let's talk about defense types um so like attack types they are specialists in one role so really if you're a defense type you should be defending the flag uh, but i'll include a flag running build uh, anyway but really you should be the one defending uh, so uh, so let's start with the ninjutsu uh, so there are a few options here you can run something like sand shield and then the summoning toad uh, those are those are two good ones especially since um, defense types a lot of times will be left by themselves to defend the flag so that having the toad there with you um, can can really help you out or you can run like petrified jutsu or even like snake thrust so you have a water pillar and sand shield breaker and you want to just run like the regular defense sword uh, like the long sword or something with combos like that the sweeping motion of the heavy attack button is good at knocking multiple enemies away and while you use that you have super armor and for the ninja tool you can use paper bombs to put on the on the on your flag yeah because people are going to be coming into it all the time if you want it to kind of to, if you want to cheese you can run the paper bombs and ripple and you can use ripple to pull people onto the paper bombs while you stand on them but that yeah it's a cheesy build but it works it works pretty well and defense types have a lot of good ultimates you can run while you're defending the flag uh, you can use deep force emergence uh while people are on the on your flag trying to take it and then you can get some easy kills while they're stuck in it uh, you can run something like water prison rosary bondage like if somebody steals the flag you can grab them uh, using that jutsu or even like grand sand mausoleum or water shark bomb pretty much um, <laughs> a lot of the jutsu for defense types can work even sage mode because you can heal yourself like while you're the only person there there and uh, you can you can stay up because it, a lot of times if you're the defense type and you get killed if you're the if you, when you're the only person there it's just like a free cap for the other team and then i'd also go with the regular shadow clone jutsu for the substitution um, for the clothing, for the top you can run first blood so you can get your ultimate back faster. Um, for the bottom, I'd run clear mine, but you can also run something to make you a little bit tankier, like the one that gives you, that boosts your max health, or the one that uh, lessens your ninjutsu damage that you take. Uh, for the for the accessory skill, you can either run the one that breaks guard faster, since you're going to be, since lots of people are going to be sit, sitting on your flag trying to guard, uh, or you can run battle harden to make you tankier, where you get um, your health back when you get KOs. And then as for the flag running build which i don't recommend uh, but this is an old school defense flag running build that people used to run when the game first came out you can run subterranean voyage and uh, spiky human boulder uh, so yeah that, it's a, i mean it's decent for running flags but there's there's other classes that are going to be better at running flags than uh, defense types with this build so for the weapon it's kind of up to you and also for the ninja tool it's up to you i was running the smoke bomb just to stun people for the secret technique, you can run Water Prison Rosary Bondage because um, once you get the flag, you can use that to, to stop everybody so that they can't pursue you. And then for the clothing, you can just use uh, First Blood so you can get your, your ultimate back faster. And Clear Mind is what you want to use for the defense type. Um, instead of using the, the, the one that gives you the speed boost, it's better to use Clear Mind since you're going to be so reliant on your two ninjutsu to get yourself across the map quickly. And then for the for the bottom you can or for the accessory you can just run like battle harden or something like that uh, but yeah i don't advise running the flag with defense types especially uh if you don't have any dlc like there's some there's some decent defense uh flag running builds now with the dlc but even then the defense type should probably be uh defending the flag if you're the only defense type on your team okay so now let's talk about range types uh so if you're a range type with no without the dlc you 
probably want to focus more on defense than uh, trying to run the flag uh, but this is a decent a pretty good uh, flag running build um, so for for the ninjutsu you can run angelic advent and uh, chidori uh, as your two as your two ninjutsu um so yeah this is a, this is actually a better flag running build than i thought it was when i was getting the clips for this it was like the first time i ever tried to really run the flag with advent uh, angelic advent and it's it's crazy op um so yeah this uh this this works pretty well and then for your your ultimate you can run the shikigami dance storm uh, so that when once you get the flag you can you can stop everybody else from using ninjutsu uh, so that way they can't chase you or they can't like throw stuff at you to to try to knock the flag out of you and uh yeah for the substitution i, I would go with shadow clone jutsu and then uh for the the weapons up to you but i just always use the kusanagi sword almost all the time and uh, for this build i was using the raging god medicine because it's just op it's like one of the best things that uh that range types have gotten in a long time since we can finally heal ourselves uh, but you can yeah you can use any, any ninja tool you want though really and then uh, so for the clothes, uh, for the top skill, I have uh, first blood that, that boosts how fast you get your secret technique. And then the bottom is in a flash, so it boosts movement, movement speed. That's always a good thing to have in flag battles. And then battle harden, uh, which I've run on pretty much all my range builds since they're so squishy. Uh, so it, it refills your, uh, your health when you get, uh, when you get a kill. Uh, so for defense, there, there are a few um, range options. Uh, but one of the best moves for defending the flag is the Super B Scroll Lion. Uh, it comes out really fast, it has really good tracking and range, and it um, lowers the target's movement speed. So it's perfect for defending the flag, and it, and it will knock them down so it knocks the flag out of them uh, when you hit them with it. You can also use the Fire Style Phoenix Flame Scarlet Claw uh, that you get from Itachi. Um, it has good tracking. Um, I actually ended up using f just Fireball Jutsu instead of this because I forgot how how long it takes for it to come out, and I feel like uh, for that move it's not worth like that charge time. So I might as well have something like Fireball Jutsu. Um, you can also use the C2 Dragon. Uh, it's good for if you're like just kind of sitting on the base trying to defend it. Um, but as a range type, since you're so fast, you, you might spend a lot of the match like chasing down opponents because in, unlike the defense type, who will just kind of sit on the base and try to stop them from ever capping the base uh, the range types job will be to chase people down once they get the flag so the c2 dragon doesn't really work well for that but it works well if you're just like on the base trying to stop them from getting it in the first place and then also the shadow clone jutsu is good and uh, the sword or the weapon is up to you but i use the kusanagi sword the raging god medicine is always a nice ninja tool but you probably want to use the scientific ninja tool fire release bullet so that you can break water pillar and sand shield and then uh, for the top, I also, or no, or, and I also used the uh, Shikigami Dance Storm from the, for the alt because that that's crucial for stopping people from using their ninjutsu to get away once they get the flag. Um, so and even stopping people from even taking the flag in the first place. For the top, I also went with First Blood, uh, where you get your your secret technique faster. At uh, the bottom, you can run either Clear Mind to get your ninjutsu back faster, or in a flash because it always helps to have uh, your movement speed higher especially since as a range type you're going to be trying to chase people down sometimes uh, if they get past your defense type on the flag and then battle harden for the for the bottom or for the accessory so uh yeah so that's uh that's pretty much it for the range type okay so for the healer this was the this was the hardest one to find a a healing um, a non-doc build for the healer to run the flag so really if you don't have the dlc you should you should not be running the flag as a healer um without the dlc you should be playing a support role with the healer um so you can you can go help somebody run the flag by uh, being there with them and healing them while they're trying to get it and then uh running with them while they're uh, while they're running the flag maybe like keeping people off of them or keeping them healed up uh, while they're running the flag but you shouldn't really be running the flag yourself and you also shouldn't really be defending by yourself um you should be like helping the defense type by just healing them up and keeping them uh topped up and stuff like that so as a as a healer without the doc you're going to be playing like a, a legit support role um but i would just to, just for the sake of uh uniformity i just tried to put together a flag running build for the for the healer so um i went with uh, chakra scalpel is the main one that that's an obvious choice uh, so you can use that to get around the map and then uh for the second in jutsu i went with heavy boulder jutsu just because uh if if you can you can hit like if somebody is um if you're taking the trying to take the flag you can hit them with that and then they'll be too slow to really chase you down and then you can use the chakra scalpel to get away and then just kind of uh 
try to get away from there um and then shadow clone jutsu for the for the substitution and then i use the insect jamming technique oh, that's good on defense and offense for healers because it disorients people it like it well it makes it harder for them to see it um and it makes them your teammates can uh, can kill them easier because their defense is, is low with the for the weapon i'm with, with the sakura naginata now this is a time where the weapon is actually important because uh the this weapon has the best air combos uh, for the healing type when it comes to like movement so you can so you can get around the map uh, using this weapon with the air combos um and then the healing tag for the for the ninja tool which is something i'll use for pretty much every build for healers is probably the best ninja tool in the game for the clothes for the top i went with first blood uh it gives you back your secret technique faster uh, in a flash definitely for the bottom because healers are slower than the than the dps classes uh, so they need that just to be as fast as a normal range or attack type uh, and then battle harden for the accessories so that you get your uh, health back after you get in after you get a kill because if you're if you are trying to take the flag you're going to need to to kill the people who are defending it so uh yeah you, that might be useful for you so but really with this instead of even even with this build you can sort of run the flag but it would be better to just support somebody else who's running the flag and uh like use your chakra scalpel and your heavy boulder to stop the people who are pursuing the person who's running the flag on your team uh, so just to yeah just to mess them up so this is even even this build is a more of a support build uh, for defending the flag, I went with the the slug summon. Uh, so I found another way to use this one. You can just put it on the on the, on your flag, and uh, so everybody who's anybody who's helping you defend the flag and you will be healed all the time, and uh, status ailments will be taken off of you. Um, so yeah, it just makes it easier to defend the flag. And then the a trigram air palm. So um, it it has decent tracking if you're close enough and it's a ranged move so if somebody gets away with the flag you can you can have a chance to, to knock it out of them it also knocks people down so it will knock the flag out and it seals their ninjutsu so they can't use um they can't use their escape ninjutsu uh, so even if they block it and they still have the flag it will make it so they can't use stuff like teleportation or whatever ninjutsu they have to run the flag uh, for the substitution also uh, uh shadow clone ju jutsu that's just the best substitution in my opinion and for the ultimate i also went with the insect uh, jamming technique uh, because you can disorient people who are trying to take your flag and it makes it much easier for everybody on your team to kill the people who are trying to take your flag once you use that uh for the for the close uh, the top i also went with the first blood for the bottom you can use clear mine or you can use uh in a flash because it's always good to be faster and and since you're using the summoning jutsu clear mine isn't that great because it's like a 30 second cooldown and it only takes two seconds off so uh, using clear mine is more f efficient when you have a ninjutsu that have pretty short cooldowns like if you have something with eight seconds that takes six seconds it takes it down to six seconds so that's like a 25 percent uh instead of 30 to 28 which is not that big a deal uh, you don't really notice it and then for the bottom i went with battle hardened because you're going to be getting kills as as a as somebody who is um defending the flag and you're basically just going to be killing people uh, especially with your secret technique which makes it easier to get ko's but like i was saying for healing types they should be either defending or just supporting don't really try to run the flag with that build uh, but yeah so that's all i got for this one uh, i hope this was helpful so yeah it took me a long time to do this to do this video finally because i had to get like so much footage for the defending the flag and running the flag and everything like that uh, so um thanks for being patient for with me you guys and also i want to say thank you we reached 1000 subscribers i appreciate all the support uh, thank you so much everybody i appreciate it um, so yeah, we can only go up from here. So, uh, so yeah, thanks everybody. I'll see you guys in the next one. Everybody stay safe out there. Peace and love.